Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 over x is equal to square root of 3. We need to find the value of uh, x to the power 100 plus uh, 1 over x to the power 100. So, let's start by taking cube of both sides. We have the given equation x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to root 3. From here we take cube of both sides. So, by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus c a b times a plus b. This x plus 1 over x whole cubed will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x is equal to this uh, square root of 3 cubed will become square root of 27. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and uh, this expression at the left hand side will become x cubed plus uh, this 1 over x whole cubed will become 1 over x cubed plus 3 times this x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to this uh, square root of uh, 27 can be written as uh, square root of 9 times 3. Now, we replace this uh, x plus 1 over x uh, with the value of x plus 1 over x uh, root 3 from this equation. So, this will become x cubed plus uh, 1 over x cubed plus uh, 3 times uh, in place of this x plus 1 over x we put value root 3 is equal to this uh, square root of 9 times 3 can be written as uh, root 9 times root 3. Next x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus uh, this will become 3 times root 3 is equal to this square root of 9 will become 3 times root 3. Now, we subtract uh, 3 times uh, root 3 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and this get cancelled and we are left with x cubed plus uh, 1 over x cubed is equal to 0. Now, we can write the denominator of this x cubed 1. When we take LCM of this 1 and this x cubed. The LCM is x cubed. When we divide this LCM x cubed by 1, we get x cubed. So, we multiply x cubed by x cubed. So, here we are write uh, x cubed times x cubed plus when we divide this x cubed by this x cubed we get 1. 1 time this one 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here we multiply both sides by x cubed. Left hand side we multiply by x cubed. So, this uh, x cubed will be cancelled out with this x cubed and this uh, x cubed times uh, x cubed will become x to the power 6 plus this 1 is equal to 0 times x cubed will become 0. Now, we move this one to the right hand side then this will become x to the power 6 is equal to negative 1. Now, we have the value of x to the power 6 uh, negative 1. Now, we find the value of uh, 
x to the power 100 plus 1 over x to the power 100. We have to find the value of x to the power 100 plus 1 over x to the power 100. Now, because here we have 6th power of x. So, we make this 100 a multiple of 6. So, this 100 can be written as 102 minus 2. And this 102, 102 is equal to 17 times 6. So, this expression can be written as x to the power 102 minus 2 plus 1 divided by x to the power 102 minus 2. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n. So, this will become x to the power 102 divided by x squared plus since this is a reciprocal of this expression. So, this will become reciprocal of this expression. We write x squared above and x to the power 102 below. Next, this x to the power 102 can be written as x to the power 6 whole to the power 17 divided by this x squared plus x squared divided by this uh, x to the power 102 can be written as uh, x to the power 6 whole to the power 17. Now, we replace this x to the power 6 and this x to the power 6 with the value of x to the power 6 negative 1. Since x to the power 6 is equal to negative 1, so this will become negative 1 to the power 17 divided by x squared plus x squared divided by this will become negative 1 to the power 17. Next, because we have an odd power of negative 1, so this negative 1 remains negative 1 divided by x squared plus x squared divided by this negative 1 to the power 17 will become negative 1. Next, this will become negative 1 over x squared plus minus will become minus x squared. Now, we rearrange these terms, we write this negative x squared first. So, this will become negative x squared minus 1 over x squared. Next, we use negative sign before parentheses. So, these two terms will become positive. x squared plus 1 over x squared. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2 a b. This will become negative times x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x. We replace this x plus 1 over x with the value of x plus 1 over x. Root 3 from this equation. So, this will become negative times in place of x plus 1 over x we write root 3 whole squared minus 2. Now, this square will be considered with the square root. 
and here we are left with the negative times 3 minus 2 and this will become negative 3 minus 2 will become 1. So, x to the power 100 plus 1 over x to the power 100 is equal to negative 1. This is the final answer of this problem.